Read Isaiah 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. So the Bible says, children are the oppressors of the people. That's right. Why? Because we oppress the uh, older generation, right? We oppress the elderly. That's why we don't have no manners. We don't even know how to treat an elderly person. That's we right. are knocking them down. You know, we're disrespectful. That's right. You know, but the Bible says we can't be oppressing our people like that. Because now you're paying the price for it. Did you do jail time for it? So you get jail time for it. Now you're on probation. So these, are, these are traps. These are what we call traps in the society that we live in. Get me uh first give me Exodus 23. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy head with the wicked. See that? It says, don't put your hand with the wicked. You know, don't raise up a false report. Don't put your hand with the wicked. Don't be around those wicked people. You know, that's what the Bible says. Read. Verse 2. To be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. See that? Read it from the top again. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Bible said don't follow a multitude to eat, right? So if you got like homeboys and so forth, you know, they about to go do some evil. Don't follow them. You know, because a lot of times we are built on peer pressure. That's right. We only do it because another man doing it. We see another man doing it. We see the uh the drug dealers got all the money, all the women, the cars. We see that lifestyle. We wanna be in that lifestyle. We glorify that lifestyle. But God said don't do that. Read. Neither should I speak in a cause to decline after many to rush judgment. Right. So you shouldn't be involved in those things. That's what the Lord is saying. Don't be involved. And if those sinners do entice you, give me that in Proverbs uh, 1 and 10. Get out. Proverbs 1 and 10. And don't be enticed by those sinners. You know, don't, don't be enticed by that look. Cause that love ain't nothing but damnation. That's, That's right. right. That's why you're paying for the price right now. We Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. The Bible said, don't let that thing entice you. That's right. What, what was the name of the Nate. 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 All right, so Nate, the Lord is talking to you right now. I know your, uh, your brother that you've been with, man, CJ, right? Y'all y'all both should be doing driving and stealing, doing all that stuff. Okay. Well, you know, you teach him the same thing. You know, he ain't here with you today, but you need to teach him that too. Read. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us work privily for the innocent without cause. Hey man, what, what we gonna do tonight, man? We got here to lick, bro. This is what we doing. Hey man, this uh this old woman over there got all the money. You know, this hardworking man got all the uh, nice merchandise inside his house. Let's go in there and kick in the door and take everything that he got. That's what we be saying. Read. 
let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as thou that go down into the pit. So he's going in and taking everything that he got and possibly killing him too. Because we don't want no eyewitnesses. Right. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. I'm giving, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving it to you vividly because that's the way it happens. But the thing is, we got to learn to turn our minds away from that. Right. We should find all precious substance. We should fill our houses with spoils. So that's what, that's that's covetousness right there. That's, that's covetousness. That's that's the tenth commandment that you break. You bring you bring covetousness. You stealing all of these things. The Bible tell her, tell her not to do it. Then you end up lying. So you end up breaking my three, four commandments. That's right. Read. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. We, we split the profits. You know, I go in, we both go in together, we split the profits. Right? Read. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. And even if you watch these movies, right? You see these movies, these gangster movies and so forth, these black movies, hood movies, and you see that stuff, and you glorify that thing, that's evil communication. Because that's what you're looking at and listening to without music. It's all evil communication. That's why you gotta kinda remove yourself from that stuff. Give me that in all first Corinthians. Let's come back to that. 15 to 33. I don't have all the answers. Only thing we gotta do is follow. Right. And I used to be in your shoes, you know. That's how I know. That's why I can sit here and relate to you. Like you can be in your shoes. And then you probably can't eat. I know you can't eat. You wanna see me on this side. How old are you? How old are you? 16. So you 16 years old. 16. And you already in that lifestyle. Just imagine if you never stop here and talk to us today. You will still be out there in there with you. And Lord's will that we make the, the Bible make a change in your heart. Because the Lord is speaking to you right now. You got it? Read. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Bring it out. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good matters. The Bible tells you, don't be deceived. Because that evil communication does corrupt your mind. You know, you may be looking at it like, oh, it's just music. It's just rap music. It ain't going to do nothing to me. Trap music ain't going to do nothing to me. But the Bible says, don't be deceived. It will corrupt your mind. That's right. Because why? It's part of that trap. It's part of that trap. What's that? I don't want that. Give me uh, Isaiah 51. It's part of that trap. You know what I'm saying? The music, even the women, the way they dress, the car, all the fashion stuff, it's all of a trap. Because that's what we glorify. When we talk about nothing, we glorify these things. We want the money, we want the car, we glorify that thing. But guess what? You can make money in a legitimate way. That's right. You don't have to go out here and steal, kill. You can make money in a legitimate way. That's right. And when you got rightful brothers around you, we can show you that way. That's right. On how to be something. How to be somebody. That's right. Isaiah 51 to 21. Isaiah 51 and 21. Bring it out. Therefore, hear now this. Thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith the Lord thy Lord. And thy God that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They, they lie at the head of all the streets. Do that. So the Lord is telling us his sons have fainted. They lay at the heads of the streets. That's, right. That's why you see us out here hanging out, walking the streets all the time of the night. That's right. Trying to sell either their body or sell some drugs right. or just be out here hanging out for no damn reason. That's right. they ain't got no damn job. That's right. Read. As a wild bull in a net. As a wild bull in a net. 
Meaning it's like a wild boy trying to get the net and trying to fight. They out here all kind of evil. That's right. All kind of madness. You know, whether they stealing, robbing, whether you know, the same thing. You know, whatever they doing, they all in, all in this world, nothing but evil going on with our people. We, they are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God, the Lord. You don't like that thing. That's what the Lord is saying. He said they are full of the fear of the Lord. The Lord don't like that. That's why he put judgment upon our people. Our people get shot down, get killed, get locked up, torn, 25 life, never getting out, whatever the case may be. So, and you know what's the reason for that? The reason why we do all of those things? Because we ain't got the freedom household. The father's not in the household. That's right. The mother, if she is in the household, she's not training the man to be man. Because the father, it's the father's job to do that. Big job. You know that, right? I don't know if your father your life, your father in your life. Okay, did, did, did he, what, what did he say about you being out here in the street? Wow. verse 12 as for my people children are their oppressors and women rule over them so the bible says children are the oppressors of the people that's the bible says we oppress the uh, older generation right we oppress the elderly that's why we don't have no manners we don't even know how to treat an elderly person that's we right. are knocking down you know we're disrespectful you know but the bible says we can't be oppressing people like that, you know, in the, in the quarry, quarry man, we can't do that, we gotta uplift our people, we gotta help the older generation, you know, even, even our people in general, we need to learn how to help each other, but we don't do that, we, oh my people, they wish to read back in the again, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them, women rule over them, why, because it's the whole women do rule over them, Daddy's not there, you know, because why? It's designed, it's systematically designed that way. And if the, if the father is there, he ain't really there spiritually, physically, mentally. He's not because he don't know what to teach That's right. the son or his daughter. That's why? Right. Because you are destroyed nation. Right. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. Which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. You see that? That's, that's what happened. Your father going to lead you into error because he don't know. Because his path was destroyed. And that's the same thing with the mother. They'll leave the daughters the same way because their path was destroyed. My, my mother didn't know no brother. My father didn't know no brother. I had to get around like brothers that you see up here to learn it by from, to learn how to change. My parents didn't teach me this stuff. You know what I mean? And many of us, we didn't learn it from our parents, you know. So a lot of us, a lot of us, as the younger generation, we taught our parents. Right? Because why? We love our older people. We love our older generation. We love our people. So we're going to make sure that this message goes forth through the whole entire community where our people are at. So that's why I want to show you, bro. I want to show you, man, this gospel, man.
Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying for as you making a difference in your community, can you keep yourself up doing that? Okay. And like I said, you you, you probably ain't ready. Uh, when I first asked this question, right? I wasn't ready yet because I wasn't repentant. You know, I wasn't repentant fully because the law is gonna convert you. Can you run it up for you? Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. See that? The Bible says how a young man gonna cleanse his way? We need to change your whole life entirely. Meaning you gotta take what? Take it heed thereto according to thy word. You gotta take heed to God's word. Alright? So God tells you to change, then you gotta change because that change. You know the reason why we can speak like this, it's not because of us, it's because of the Lord. Because we changed our ways and the Lord gave us his voice. See what I'm saying? So that's why I asked you that. Because you might can't see it right now because you ain't fully repentant. How you doing, sis? What's your name? In verse 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. That says the spirit that quickeneth. That means that's going to change you. It says the flesh don't profit nothing. The flesh is your sin. It don't profit nothing. But the law of God is profit. Right? Read. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. But, but Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. Why, you believe in these words? See, it's a Lord. Okay. So, the Lord is telling you that these words are powerful. These words will change your life. So, I want you to continue to listen to what we got to say and let the next let brother you know, edify you a little bit more, all right? All right, Nate? You got time, right? We got, we got a little more time because you ain't going to do nothing going home and get in trouble, right? So you know, uh, all right, well. Uh, no, I've been changed. You've you been changed? Okay, well, it's, it's time for you to change some more. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with 